Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Excuse my voice. Um, I just woke up. It's like 5 in the morning. Um, and I meant to do this video last night. But as usual, my son didn't allow me to do that. Um, so this is a special little unboxing today. This is actually an Etsy order um, that I treated myself for Mother's Day. So I received it in the mail Friday, but I was out of town, so I haven't been able to open it. And yeah, let's open it together. I don't want to say her name wrong, so I'm going to wait until I open up the package. Um, let me see. So I just really want to show you guys. This is my first time ordering from Etsy, believe it or not. Guys, I really am thinking about opening up an Etsy store to sell some of my original art. But I don't know, like I just feel kind of weird about selling my original art. But I really need to because I have a ton of stuff that's like just basically sitting there. And I would love for some for some of it to have a home. But um, this is what it came in. A really cute little pink bag now let me just let you guys know that this video is not going to be a review it's just basically going to be like an unboxing and I'll do some swatching and I might do some art with it. But I don't want to review this product until I like I really, really, really get to know it and I find some more information about it um, as far as like light fastness and stuff like that. So this is what it looks like. So adorable. Handmade for you. So, it's designs by rachelbeth.com. Subscribe to my email list. And this is her email list. In case you guys want to screenshot it. And down below is her Instagram. Designs by Rachel Beth. So, I've been wanting to get my hands on these watercolors. But I was a little bit reluctant. Um, just because I didn't know if they were light fast or not. And I felt like they were a little bit pricey. In the sense of, um, how do I want to put it? I just kind of felt like the, for the price of it, I can get a couple of tubes of Daniel Smith watercolors. You know, like the full tubes versus these um, half pens. But for Mother's Day, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and treat myself. And I really have been loving a lot of the colors I've been seeing. So I just decided to go ahead and treat myself. So it's got a sticker here that says handmade for you, which I hate that I have to ruin it by opening it. So I ordered two little half pens. This one is called Marry Me. Really cute packaging, gold foiling, has a little swatch, XOXO. So cute, this little card designed by Rachel Beth, and it has a personalized note, thank you. Little smiley face, a heart, and Rachel Beth. That's so adorable. I love little touches like that. So this is the tin that I ordered. Eat Sweet Cupcake. Um, This seems like... I guess you would say like craft paper. But it's a sticker. It's really cool. Cute little tin. Adorable. It has a little swatch card. 
So this is Cupcakes and Cocktails is the one that I ordered. Oh, cool. And it has a little magnet so that it can stick to this. So there's three, four, five half pans. And it looks like there's room for one more in here. So we have vanilla bean coconut. And it has a really nice like iridescent paper. Triple salted caramel. Caramel. Blue Lagoon, Manhattan, and Mai Tai. Really cute, guys. So, I'm going to close the store. I really wanted to get my hands on this one that she had. It was called Brass. And it was like a really pretty, oh my God, it was so beautiful, like a coppery gold or whatnot. But it sold out. So from what I understand, every Friday she puts out stuff. But a couple of times that I've looked, a lot of her things have been sold out. So if you guys are interested, make sure that you check her at C every Friday, I want to say. So let's go ahead and open these up. And let's do some swatches together. I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch it on the card and I'm also gonna swatch it on this paper that I have. So let's leave these two to the side. Now I know for sure that these are like really iridescent metallic. So let's do vanilla bean coconut. I don't even want to take the packaging now. It's so cute. So I know these are handmade watercolors by her. So cute, guys. Look at that. I love the gold foil touch. So this is what the pan looks like. On the side, it has vanilla bean coconut. And it's got a nice little magnet on the bottom and an R on the side. So I love that I don't have to write. And these magnets are really nice. I love that I don't have to write the name on them. Okay, and let's do triple salted coconut. That's what that one looks like. I love the names. All right, so I'll just stick them in here in the order that they are here. Uh, Mai Tai. Some of these are like, oh wow, they still feel really soft. All right, that's my tie. I wonder if I could fit all these in one. Manhattan. beautiful color. I feel like I'm going to waste some of this paint. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Blue Lagoon. So, 
So I love that they're really filled to the top. There's Blue Lagoon. These are so gorgeous. Oh my God, look at that Manhattan. I don't know if you guys can see like all of that shimmer on top of this one here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to fit these two in this tin. Maybe one. So we're going to actually swatch these out on white paper and then black. Black paper also. Oop. Sorry, guys. Um, the a couple of videos that I saw, she sent like a little dot card, so I'm a little disappointed that I didn't receive one of those. She usually sent, sends, from what I could see, a like little sample of a color, and I didn't get that. Let me know if you guys ordered from her and if you guys received one. This one is the Marry Me. And these have the same thing. So the name and the magnet on the bottom. Look at that. Okay. This one has the foil sticking to it. I don't know if this is the foil or the paint. Not sure. All right, guys. So let's swatch these out. Let me grab my black paper. Let's grab some water. So first I want to see if how they re-wet. They re-wet beautifully. Well, at least this one, vanilla bean coconut. Let's also do it on black paper. Now this black paper isn't watercolor paper, but let's see how it holds. making a mess guys that's oh I forgot to do the card a little swatch card I'm gonna actually stick this in here since it has the magnet Triple salted caramel, caramel, tomato, tomato. Pretty color. These are so opaque on black paper. Keep forgetting to watch it up top. So this one has some shimmer to it too. My tie. 
these re-wet beautifully, guys. You don't even have to drop any water on it. To like, you know, like with my fine text, I have to drop water and let it sit for a minute. Don't have to do that with these. They look so gorgeous on black paper. Manhattan, which looks like it's going to be my favorite color. Oh, so, so beautiful. It's like a little holographic. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Let me see if you guys can see that. Like, look at that. That color is gorgeous. So it looks completely different on white and black paper. So pretty. This one is Blue Lagoon. Wow. Sorry guys. Very pretty. All right. Let me kind of water this out. Should have did it with all of them. Okay, let's do these two. The Marry Me. So metallic. XO XO So pretty I'm going to show you guys on the white paper. Wow. Beautiful on white paper. So I think I like the way these look better on white paper. This one's still a little wet. <coughs> Let me mop some of this up. But yeah guys, let me let these dry. These are fairly dry. So I want to say that they're all metallic. I'm not sure about this Blue Lagoon one. I'm going to re-swatch it again. Right under it.
All right, guys, so I made a color chart here. You guys can see how much glimmer. Look at that. So beautiful. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can really see these colors. So I have a total of seven colors, and all I did was mix each of them with each other. Um, down the middle here is the true color. Meaning this is just vanilla by itself. Vanilla bean coconut. And then here, on each of these, I try to make this these with more of this color. So for instance, the vanilla bean coconut mixed with um, triple salted caramel. I put more of the vanilla bean on this row with each color. And then, um, you know, this is mixed with vanilla bean coconut. This one's triple salted caramel. So for this one, triple cause I mix the same thing. This is I'm sorry, it's kind of confusing to break it down to you guys. But with this one, it's the two colors mixed together. But this one has more of the triple salted caramel. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, and I was able to produce all these beautiful colors. Um, that just goes to show that you guys can have a limited color palette and come up with a ton of colors i'm pretty sure I, I know for a fact that if i mix some of these with some other colors oh my god i'll probably get really amazing colors um there's some really unique colors here as you guys can see i was able to to produce some really nice purples some beautiful oh my god i love the way the xo made some really beautiful peaches with these some really beautiful colors but yeah, guys, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you guys need help with how to make a color chart like this when mixing, let me know. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I think I did a tutorial with mixing um, some 12 colors, I believe it was. And I came up with like 144, something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to mix these colors and show you guys all the different colors that you can achieve with just that small palette now once again originally this came with five I ordered two extra which they don't fit in this pan so I'm gonna have to find another tin to put these in or I'll probably just put these with my Daniel Smith watercolors but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys really beautiful and then this is the finished illustration of the mermaid guys I know that it's super late that I'm putting this video out um, I did this during mermaid and um, I think I videotaped this a little while after Mother's Day Father's Day just past Sunday it's June now like towards the end of the June of June but yeah this is how it came out I think it came out really beautiful look at all that shimmer guys it was really fun playing with these watercolors and all I did was go I originally sketched it with this Cold Erase color pencil in purple. And once I was done, I just added some of the details like in the face, the eyelashes and such with this pencil. And that's it, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I don't want this to really be a review, but I just really kind of wanted to just showcase these watercolors and show you guys a little something. Um, they were pricey to me once again. Um... In the sense of, you know, probably the cost of each pan, I could have got like a nice size tube of Daniel Smith watercolors. But um, these are handmade and I think it's really important to support other artists. And again, I want to treat myself for Mother's Day. So I'm really happy with these guys. I especially am in love with Manhattan. I love this color. Like it has this iridescent green to it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I can't even describe it. There's so many things going on with that color there. But yeah, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.